Melissa Rivers, thank you so much for joining us bright and early the morning after the Oscars to talk about the best and not best looks, shall we say, of Oscars night. Um, let's jump right in. What did you think of the carpet as a whole overall as the sort of grand finale to award season? I thought it was good, not great. I think it was very pretty, quite safe. Mm -hmm no major wows and no major oof. You know, it was it was pretty. It was very pretty. Everyone looked lovely. I don't know about you, but I was waiting for that, like, which we always wait for that, like, wow moment. And we didn't really get it. I had a few looks that I loved, which I'll tell you about, but I want to hear yours first. So tell me who was at the top of the pile for you, the closest that we came to a wow moment for you. Emma Stone. I, I thought her. she looked lovely in Louis Vuitton. I loved um, Anna Taylor Joy. I loved Carrie Mulligan. Emily Blunt. That was mm. our biggest wow moment in Scaparelli. And okay. she just looked gorgeous. What I don't think people understood or I'm hearing a lot of it didn't fit. No, it did. That's what Scaparelli does. It's, it's very structured and um, architectural. She was my closest to a wow moment. That's really she, interesting because her look was the one that I saw the most debate about online. Um, a lot of folks were kind of confused by like the what looked like a, the outline of like men's briefs on the front bottom half of the dress. What did you think of that and sort of that surreal element? It was very fashion. It was very Scaparelli. It's what they do. The one I really couldn't get past was um, Ariana Grande. Too much, too much. Too much poof, too much pink, too much pink with the jewelry, too much kind of washed out. I, like it was just too much of everything for me. John Batista Valley, who I love. Some of my Same. favorite dresses in my closet are from him. Let the dress be black and the coat sleeves thing be pink. Let those be black. Or at least a contrasting color. It just looked like a big wad of bubble gum. On one hand, like I get she was going for Glinda. That was abundantly clear. On the other hand, I found it funny that the biggest dress of the night was on the smallest human. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. And the memes were pretty funny. My favorite, I think, was me on the way to the fridge wrapped in, in my duvet at 3 a.m. I was like, like, by the way, that nails it. That's exactly it. I just, it overwhelmed her. It just, and I, we don't need to be channeling Glinda at this point, you know? And I know with Cynthia Erivo and the Louis Vuitton green, which is, I think, a lot of people, again, that is a runway piece. That is an art piece. But I feel like it did her no favors. And by the way, if anyone can pull it off, it's her. I was kind of surprised that even on her, it didn't work. It definitely wasn't my favorite. Again, I got what she was going for, just like I got what Ariana was going for. Yeah. But like Cynthia Erivo is capable of so much, and I'm usually blown away by her. And I just wasn't this time. Were there any others that sort of let you down? I'm thinking specifically, I would love to talk about Margot Robbie because she kind of went in a direction that a lot of folks weren't expecting <laughs> as the star of Barbie. Um, okay, I predicted that she was gonna wear black. Interesting. Or very dark color. Did I feel like she didn't put quite enough effort into it? with the hair, no jewelry, which I know is very much her look. For me, people are like, you know, was it a protest? Was it this, was that? I think, and this is why I was saying it since the beginning, is it's putting a period on the end of Barbie for her. We've, we've done the pink, we've made our point. I don't think it was in protest, which is what I've been hearing. For me, because I said it since the beginning, she's gonna wear black, it's the period. We're back to Margot. It also, I mean, let's face it, I think a lot of people do have Barbie fatigue at this point, exactly. even though I loved Ryan Gosling's look for his I'm Just Ken performance, and I kind Again, of- Again, that's a performance outfit. Yes. That has nothing to do. Right. I think, by the way, I think, I look at dresses sometimes of which I would love to have in my closet mm -hmm. that I believe are wearable, 
in real life, not just on some amazing actress on the carpet. America's dress was, I'd love to own that dress. She I'd looked love amazing. the opportunity to wear that dress. She looks fantastic. Yeah. I loved, and I loved how it kind of complemented Margot's too. Like they had the two different versions of the Versace chainmail metal mesh yeah. moment. Um, they kind of, they could stand together and be Barbenheimer. <laughs> exactly. Lupita Nyong'o. My favorite. She was Absolutely my favorite. stunning. Yeah. Um, what I loved was it was the March of the Necklaces, as mm -hmm. I call it. It was the Night of Necklaces. Uh, at my last count, and I know it's not accurate, I'm already up at 12 major necklaces. In a season where a lot of people said everyone was skipping necklaces, which is... Well, all year we've seen, this has been the whole trend, major jewels, mm -hmm. major earrings, major jewels, this whole award season. So yeah, every, I thought everybody was gonna start to pivot. And I mean, those necklaces last night, uh, amazing. And I think one of the ones that nobody's really talking about, who I think really, was brilliant last night was Gabrielle Union. Same, she was on my best dressed as well that just went up. I thought she looked, it was probably my favorite Gabrielle Union look ever. And the fact that they talked about it was two, it was Carolina Herrera and then it was actually two different dresses. Yes. They changed up to put together and make one and it worked. Yeah, she looked amazing. You would never have thought those were two different lookbook looks. I can only imagine how heavy that was. For someone who no one was quite sure why she was there, jaw dropping. And I also love Jennifer Lawrence. It took me, now was it right for the Oscars? I'm not 100% sure on that. I can't say it was, I can't say it wasn't. She was presenting, not a nominee, but to me, it became a beautiful, summer ball in Newport. I just love that look. I also definitely want to shout out two women yeah. who looked amazing, who didn't go try and go too young or too old. Jodie Foster. So good. Michelle Yeoh. Women, at one point, they can try and be too young looking, or they start to cover up too much. And I thought the two of them, just like Jane Fonda always does, showed perfect dressing when you're not 12 mm -hmm. and you're not 80. They both looked so elegant. I, I love Jodi in particular. I thought that dress was so pretty and I also, a thought I had about it was, I feel like the red carpet interviews that only showed her from the waist up didn't really do the look justice because the skirt was where all the action was and it was so, the movement of it was so pretty. And Michelle Yeoh, what a great dress. My biggest overall grievance. Okay with the night was the men. You don't have to wear a tie to any other award show. It's the effing Oscars. The only person who can get, go away, get away with no tie and showing his chest at the Oscars is Lenny Kravitz. Knew you were gonna say him and I completely agree. Also thank goodness That's for it. Coleman Domingo and his like brooch topped bow tie, like actually dressing appropriately always. Jeffrey Wright, even so much as having the placket covering the buttons. Mm -hmm. That was perfect. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind the men having a little bit of fun. It is the one night you have to wear a tie. Bradley Cooper knows better. You know, oh, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, you all wear a tie over heels. Shall we trade? And what people don't know, and you know, is every person working backstage on the carpet Every tech guy, every PA, every guy pulling cables must be in a tuxedo. Mm -hmm. And you can't bother to put on the tie and it's your night. I find it disrespectful. Charlize in that Dior. She looked beautiful. Does she ever look bad? Never. <laughs> it's, it's now hit the point of annoying. Like, enough already. Mm -hmm. Enough. You are 2,000 feet tall. You are gorgeous, you are talented, and you don't seem to be aging. Yeah, and her dress was so 
comparatively simple, or at least looked to be, and she still, I mean, you you have to do a lot of the lifting with a dress like that and talk about someone who does. <laughs> but the, again, she has such style. Mm -hmm. Your jaw dropped, the yeah. jewelry, the hair. Beautiful. Perfect. As always, you either dress for the carpet or you dress for the stage, and you can always see a difference. And my mother's always like, Unless you're winning, you dress for the carpet. Absolutely true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joe knew best.